Morning Daily Bread audience. This week, we're tracking with 1 and 2 Peter, learning to stand in trials, inspired by the message from Rory Dyer at Church on Main this last Sunday morning. And we're looking at a number of um, titles and names in the books of 1 and 2 Peter, which give us inspiration from our God as to how to stand in trials. And so today we come to 1 Peter 2, verses 4 to 6, where it talks about a cornerstone. Verse 4 reads, As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, you yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So there's this chosen and precious cornerstone that has been laid. And this is a quote from the Old Testament. And if we put our trust in him, we'll not be put to shame. That's the point. If we put our trust in him, we'll not be put to shame. Now, stones are symbolic of many things in Scripture. We find they figurative of Christ, of us as believers, of God's word. At times, the picture is of solidity and permanence, which are in view. At times, it's foundation and structure. At times, it's building materials that are in view. Um, in one sense, it's us who are being built into a spiritual house. But in this particular scripture, what we're focusing on is this title or this reference to Jesus, who is to be the cornerstone, who is chosen and precious, laid in Zion, and that those who trust him will not be put to shame. Now, let's just consider this idea of a cornerstone. What is being pictured here? Let's apply our minds to this concept. The idea is this, that when a building is built, the most important stone in those days which was laid was the cornerstone because the rest of the building took its line and its structure, its, its um, architecture was taken from that particular stone. And so we have Jesus laid in Zion. And the importance of it is this, is that he is our model. He is our model for all things of our Christian life. It's usually the stone which is laid first, and so the placing of it is key. And that is true of Christ. In Ephesians chapter 2, we have these verses which talk about the cornerstone too. Verse 19, it says, So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Something that's being built, a household. Built on the foundation, there's a foundation, of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone. So there's a cornerstone, which is Jesus. There's a building which is being built, and that's the church. And we are being built in that fashion. And there's a foundation to it. And so the church is being built in this kind of a fashion. And we need to know what kind of a stones we are. Well, the passage we read in 2 Peter talks of us being living stones and him being the living stone. There's something lively and powerful and vibrant about the church of Jesus Christ. It's not dead and simply a mental exercise and simply a doctrinal exercise. No, there's life which comes from the Spirit. And we learn that because our Jesus took on human flesh, lived this earth, and walked by the Spirit and did amazing, powerful things, demonstrating that He was God and that the Father was with Him. He walked by the Spirit. He walked by the light of the Word. He walked by His Father's will. And he laid down his life for people, the people of the world. And he called his fellow workers friends. Now, if we can have that as our model, if we can also, like Jesus, walk by the Spirit, walk by the light of the Word, walk in our Father's will, lay down our lives for the people of the world, and that we call our fellow workers friends, just like Jesus did, we'll go a long way to be the lively stones that we're supposed to be. Jesus is the foundation. He's the cornerstone. He's also the capstone of the building. And he's the one who gives us our liveliness and our aliveness to accomplish his good purposes. Let's look to Jesus in prayer. Lord, we know that you are the cornerstone laid from which we get our direction. We want you as a model for our lives. We want to walk like you in the spirit, walk like you in the father's will, walk like you in the light of the word. Call our fellow workers friends and lay down our lives so that this world can be reached. Help us in Jesus' name.